people. I'm sure you're slightly familiar with me. My name is Naomi Barker. And I'm Tim, her lucky husband. Oh, that's so sweet of you, honey. These are our two children, Nefe and Timmy. We recently moved out from the city to here. Both of our careers are based in the city, but we decided to move to the suburbs. That way, we have space for our growing family. Tim's job as a photographer means he travels often, and I do some modeling still every once in a while. Our jobs aren't every day, so we don't need to be in the city daily. Yeah, we're making it work. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. It really is, and we are loving it here in our new neighborhood. The people are so nice and have been extremely welcoming. Since our immediate family isn't close by, it's nice to have a community of people who treat you like family. Nuffy, do you want to tell us how the move has been for you? It's been really wonderful. I've met some great friends already in Hazel, Spike, and Kaysen. They have been so nice to me. And I love how Hazel just takes control of everything. I can't wait to see who else I meet. It's good to see you like it here. And you're already making friends? Awesome. Making friends has been easy, Papa. It's having a little brother that's hard. Nuffy darling, do you mind explaining what you mean? All right, Mommy. When we lived in the city, it was just you, me, and Papa. It would just be the three of us, and I would get all your attention. Now, I have to wait a lot because you're taking care of Timmy. Things are different now that Timmy is here, but don't you love having your brother as part of the family? He is very cute, but he doesn't really do much. All he does is sleep, eat, make smelly diapers. Ew. And he takes up a lot of you and Pop Pop's time. Daughter, I understand your feelings. Timmy is very small and needs a lot of our attention. When you were small like Timmy, you got just as much attention, if not more, since you were our first child. That's true. We will watch over you every minute. Because personally, I didn't know what to do with the brand new baby. Really? I don't remember that. <laughs> You wouldn't, baby. You were too little to remember. But Mommy and I doted on you all the time. Our love for you has always been there, Nafe, and it will never go away. But as time goes by, the way we love you will change. What exactly do you mean, Mommy? When you were a baby like Timmy, we showed our love by taking care of you. This included feeding you, watching you sleep, and changing those stinky diapers of yours. <laughs> Mommy. And then there was your toddler phase where we loved you and showed you how to walk and we taught you what's dangerous in this world. Now we show our love by spending time with you and telling you the things we do for Timmy doesn't take away the love we have for you, Nafe. And you could show us how you love us by loving your little brother. Precisely. Timmy won't be a little baby forever. He will grow into a young boy who you can play with, have fun with, and love. I can't wait for that to happen. It would be nice to play with Timmy on the playground. It will happen soon. Let's not rush time. What you can do now is love him for who he is. A precious, beautiful baby boy. <laughs> Nuffy, don't you want your brother to love you when he gets bigger? Yes, I want us to be friends and play with one another. Great, we want that too. But you gotta show him how to love by loving him first. Okay, but how do I show him I love him when he is so small? <laughs> you could start by just telling him. You can show you love him by helping me take care of him, Nafe. That would be a great way. You could be my little helper. I'd really like that. We would all be together, and I wouldn't feel left out. That's wonderful, because I'd never want you to feel left out. Just love to me the way the Lord loves us, unconditionally. Okay, um, Mommy, what's unconditionally? <laughs> the word is unconditionally, and it means there's no limit to conditions. In this case, there's no limit to God's love for us. 
and this is how we should love one another. Wow, that's a pretty big and amazing love. Well, love, that's God for you. He's pretty big and amazing. I will try my hardest to love like God. I will show little Timmy how I love him by helping you guys take care of him. Thank you, my sweet daughter. We're so blessed to have you as our firstborn child. Maybe next you could give me a little sister? I'd love her too. Um, how about we start with loving Timmy first? We love him because he first loved us. 1 John chapter 4, verse 19 Do to others as you would have them do to you. Luke chapter 6, verse 31 